Hello, my name is uh, Paul Martin Smith. Um, this is going to be part three of the basic maths of the I Ching. I'm going to go over some of the stuff that I covered in the last two um, videos, but um, we will progress and um, try and show how everything works now. Um, firstly, um, you, to get the maths, you can basically you can Google uh, me, Paul Martin Smith, or you can Google Lee Burton. Uh, it's Blogspot or Ken Taylor at Early Heaven and we're going to Origins of Ho2 and Low Show and he'll give you all the values of how you get the um, 216432 and 864 values which lead into the great year. Now we're going to go through that now. Firstly, um, here is the values of the, of the uh, Low Show. And we'll find that the uh, the low show has a central five, and it has special properties in that the addition of five to any of those numbers that that occur on the outside um, give you a run of fives and the total addition. comes to um, 90 in either direction and that all the, all the numbers that are crossovers are always 1 1 1 Now again, we start off with, with the values of uh, heaven and earth, and um, heaven is light. It's the father, uh, and it's always odd numbers. And earth, dark, um, is the mother, and is always even numbers. So between e each one of these, uh, father and mother. You produce six children, so you get one to eight trigrams. Now, the eight trigrams, um, or the three numbers, are all to do with how you add simple numbers together. You, you can add them as odd and even pairings in the way that you're told to do in the um, Ho to. So you've got a uh, um, Odd and even numbers of heaven and earth fade to 1 to 10, and so you place them together 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9, 5, 10. Uh, and as you know, the uh, plus um, 5 and, or, and plus 4 contracted integer is also a reflection of those values. So you, that runs at 5, 1, 6, 2, 7, 3, 8, 4, 9. Now, Each of the trigrams um, of heaven and earth has a pairing, and um, as you can see in the first one there, that's just from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, in the low shoe, um, five ends up in the central value, so you add um, one to nine, eight to two, so on, which always equals ten. And this is how we uh, uh, address a progression of thirds because 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15, so you've got thirds, and 5 is the third. And also, um, the addition of numbers 1.5 uh, um, also is of interest, and so we're dealing with fifths. Now, the linking of the integers 1 to 8 to the 8 binary images of the trigrams um, 
gives you the formation of all the mass uh, as all the pairings of the low show um, equal 10 with central 5 the trigrams make the hexagrams which are 8 times 8 cubes equals 64 um, hexagrams uh, uh, of 3, 8, 4 lines and the total of the trigrams manufactured for the lines um, and the pairs which I like call the four words um, gives you a binary progression now um, giving a progression uh, of uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5 that goes to infinity um, neither the binary nor the, the Fibonacci um, numbers includes three sixes and nines but they all manufacture three sixes and nines when they're paired correctly together now the sole figure and the contracted integers um, do include three sixes and nines but um, when they're placed together in the correct order but they may produce values of, of the contracted integers of three six nine three six nine or six um, three nine six three nine etc so the workings of the I Ching um, the whole two and the low should give the values of the great year or what we call precession now unless you have these maths you cannot confirm that these numbers are of any value and there's been quite a few people using these values um, without producing the maths of, of how you find them so um, anyway we'll go on and we'll leave it at that now when, when we have a look at, at um, the numbers that are produced from the um, I Ching, you know, in, in the eight times eight squares, which is two one six four three two, etc., right, we we find that we we have a set of um, solfeggio tones. Now, these also produce magic squares, and they go central one, central two, well central 3 up to central 9 and each one of them the central number is doubled so you can see that so all, all opposites and all values are plus sixes in the solfeggio tones so they also produce numbers which recur to infinity. So, say if you take uh, uh, 417, you've got 4 plus 6 equals 10, uh, plus 6 equals 16, it equals 7, so you've got 417, 417, 417, 417, 417 Now, um, when we take these values up to the uh, up to um, the full value, you get fives, and you also get central nines, which one is the low show, and the other one's the well. And you will see that these also give you the same progressions, um, but they start running into twelves. So one, two, three, plus three, and four. Five and, and six, seven. So, what we always come back um, in doing this to the numbers between one and ten. Um, that's how Pythagoras did it, and that's how it all is to be done. It always comes back to the contracted in integers of one to eight. Yeah. The special properties of fives and nines as I mentioned before and um, when you add them together as you add in the well you've got a central nine you add it to one you always get ones you add it to eight you always get eight and it goes on like that now here you can see that, that it, it in the solfeggio tones we have reversals and flips you can flip the numbers or reverse them and when you do that they always come back to the contracted integers now this is a list of the contracted integers which are placed into the well and they're always opposites each other so one is opposite eight and 
and um, two is opposite seven, and five is opposite four, and, and three is opposite six, so you've always got nine, nine, nine. Now, so all the maths basically fits together in a way that you get runs of values 6, 12, 24, 36, 72, uh, um, 216, 432, 684, uh, and you can add them together in, uh, in the uh, low shoe to give you the values of the great year. As I said, if you haven't got this maths, then you can't really substantiate that the values of the great year are actually manufactured from linking just ordinary simple numbers to a binary progression. Now that binary progression is, is just a way of adding odd and even numbers together, like 1, 2, 3 equals 6. So each, each integer is added three times to itself and you get sixes, and that runs to infinity. Now, if you take the hexagrams or tubes, or cubes, you've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that always gives you sevens, and that's true infinity. Now, the way that these numbers work in the low shoe is a forty light numbers and forty dark numbers. Now, um, this is um, uh, the maths of physics. As you will see in 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 Rodin's tours or or in all conversations about the self you now, yeah? so we're finding that, that within the ancient maths, which is the oldest known to man in the Book of Changes, is also now coming to its its uh, uh, you know it's it's coming to fruition in physics. Now, in the standard model, there seems to be a part missing. And this, uh, um, the addition of all the numbers uh, um, must be placed into the binary um, to, to give it a symmetrical value so that each value can be added across to each other so that it gives you a fifth central square, which is the fifth element. You can't do it on four elements. You, you have to run it to the fifth element to get the extra hidden part. Now, um, this poses a question as to the, the hidden sets of values in the standard model. Um, and so, um, as we also find these, these numbers related to the seal, seals of Solomon, which I shall put up a little um, pic to show, um, we basically ha have the modern mass relating to all the ancient maths. So um, myth and numerology is no longer myth and numerology.